right, so this is a quick video about how to subtract integers using integer chips. If you have a question like this, what does positive 5 take away positive 2 equal to? Um, typically, we use this legend right here, so you'll always want to tell me what colors you're using. Um, in the textbook, red is always positive, blue is always negative. So if we have positive 5 take away positive 2, um, that means, once again, I have to start with the positive 5. So if I start with 5 big red chips, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the subtract means take away, right? So this is just take away. And then positive 2. Positive is red once again, so I need to take away two red chips, which I have. So I'm just going to grab these two red chips, remove them. So circle them, use an arrow to show them drawing away. And then that leaves you with a final answer of three red chips. And if I take a look here, once again, red is positive, so this is a positive three. So final answer, positive five, take away positive two equals to positive three. If we take a look at this next one over here, negative six, take away negative two. Similar idea, I'm gonna start with six negative chips. From my legend right here, I can tell that negative is that blue. So I'm gonna start right here and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to look here. So subtract means take away. And I need to take away negative two. And so that's two chips. Negative is blue. So I need to take away two blue chips. So I'm just going to circle these and remove them. This leaves me with a final answer of four. These are all blue chips. And once again, blue is negative. So this is a negative four. So negative six take away negative two equals to negative four. Okay, this is a bit of a step up, but positive two take away positive five. So once again, take a look at my legend. Positive two is going to be two red dots and I need to take away five red dots. The problem right now is I don't have five red dots. So I need to add a couple more dots. The only number that I can add without changing things is zero. So if I add zero, I'll still be left with the same original number. Having one red and one blue is what we call a zero pair. So I'm gonna add zero pairs until I have enough. Right now I have two red ones and I need to remove five red chips. So that means I need three more. So for every single red that I add, I also have to add a blue. Right now, if I take a look, my total amount I have here is three positives and one negative. If I gave you $3 and took away $1, you're at a positive two. So this hasn't changed. I'm still starting at this positive two. This is just two red dots with a zero. So I can add as many zeros as I want and I will not change my question. So I'm going to just keep on adding and keep on adding. So at this point, once again, this is still worth a positive 2. I just have 0, 0, 0, right? Or another way to think about it is I have 5 positives and then 3 negatives, which is still worth positive 2. Okay, so now I'm at a point where I can start to solve the question. I'm starting at this positive 2. Check. And I can now take away five reds. So I'm going to circle just these five reds, draw an arrow taking them away. And my final answer is three. They're all blue, so if I take a look here, blues are negative, so final answer is negative three. So positive two, take away positive five, equals to negative three. Let's try one more. So if I have, let's go negative two to take away positive one. So something like this. I'm gonna keep that same color scheme. So red and blue. Um, I'm just going to set blue as my negative and red as my positive. So first I need to start with negative two. Negative is my blue, so I'm gonna start with two blue dots. And then this one means take away. 
So I need to remove and one positive and positive is red. So I need to take away one red chip. I don't have a red chip right now. So what I need to do is add. The problem is I can't just add one red chip because if I have two negatives and one positive, this will actually cancel out one of my zero pairs and I'm at a negative one. So remember, I can only add zeros. So anytime I add a red, I also need to add a blue. Now this resets it back to negative two, so I'm okay. So I can see here I have negative two and a zero pair. So this is fine. And so what I need to do is take away one red chip, right? So this represents my negative um, plus one. So I'm gonna take away one red chip and I'm left with three blue chips. So three blue chips is once again, negative. So if I was to fill it in, negative two, take away positive one equals to negative three. Hopefully these give you a couple examples. Um, so essentially, if you're drawing things out, you can only add zeros. So if you don't have enough chips, you need to make sure you always just add one of each positive and negative until you have enough pieces. All right, good luck, good luck. If you have any questions, let me know.